you feel like teens typically have a voice? Um, no, and with you guys, we do. Teens have a lot more to say than they're allowed to, so to be able to get out there and make a film about what we think is great. My Media Life is a direct behavioral intervention with a group of participants that helps them change their behaviors, but that also produces a population-specific community-level intervention, also called a public service announcement. The young man sits on the couch playing video games and staring at the TV. She taps the boy's shoulder and pauses. I worked on the one with healthy and unhealthy relationships, where we show three different scenes with three different couples, and we do the unhealthy, and then we rewind to show the healthy. I noticed I was in an unhealthy relationship and it began to get verbally um, Once you take somebody who has been in a situation or has been affected by a situation and give them the voice to facilitate change in somebody else, it facilitates change within themselves. She makes a disgusting face. Snatches the condom, obviously, throws it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> My Media Life also improves participants' professional development skills like project management and teamwork because they are tasked as a group to collaboratively and collectively execute deliverables associated with making their movie. Do you guys have a uh, location? We're still brainstorming. We're still brainstorming. Okay. All right. I'll see the scene. They are literally going through the entire process and doing the whole thing. Um, with just a little bit of guidance, actually. It's kind of fascinating how that works. But it's, it's a process. It's not just like making videos. It's, it's a leadership workshop. It's, you know, they're growing, they're gaining skills, they're coming out of their shells, they're having a good time. I can definitely say I've learned a lot better social skills, how to communicate with people. One of the participants we had the last time we made PSAs, he came into the workshop super quiet, shy, didn't know anybody. Through the whole process, you could see him come out of a shell. He made friends, he was joking around with people, and then by the end of the PSA, we all went our separate ways. And just recently, when we started this one up again, the health teacher that I work with was like, that, that boy, ever since that PSA, he's been a completely different person. He's so happy, he has all these friends, he's completely turned around, his grades are better. I think the program really worked well because it was very assets based, it was very um, grounded in positive youth development as opposed to telling kids what not to do. Um, it really celebrated the positive things that they were doing which encouraged and supported them doing more and more positive things. When youth have ownership of the product, organizational skills, problem-solving skills, decision-making skills are taught through a supported way. Getting to learn how to work better in teams and not so much as an individual, that helped a lot. I think that my media life has helped me and my participants to come closer because we actually bonded over this experience. It finds a way to engage with youth from a really diverse array of backgrounds. It's not common that a program can engage people at so many different levels and can really find their strengths. Um, it's a very strengths-based program. I feel like, like hearing something or being told something or speaking to someone about is way different when you see it. Because then that's, I feel like that's when you can make the connection like that's me. Like I'm that teenager, I'm that girl in high school or that embarrassed or nervous person to get help about my reproductive health or anything like that. So seeing something is, is big. It's bigger than just saying it. The potential for this kind of messaging to sort of go viral and impact many people's lives around the world instantly has never been so great because of the advent of new media. In order for young people to learn to wield the power of new media constructively, we have to structure positive applications of it, not just highlight the disasters. Through this process, participants actively use new media in ways that empower them and as a result tend to reduce the kind of new media use that puts themselves or others at risk for harm. Like on my SAT, the prompt was on social media, so I spoke about how it can promote narcissism or self-centeredness, but it can still it can still create beneficial and mutual relationships between others all around the world. Products we produce in My Media Life are produced through a highly collaborative process 
but the hiring agency determines what kind of video that they would like participants to produce, be it a tour of their clinic, a short documentary about teen pregnancy, an anti-bullying campaign. But these products can then be leveraged by the hiring agency for outreach, fundraising, marketing, branding, and other means of garnering support or clients. Schools can use the products that My Media Life produces for new student orientation, to change school and classroom norms, to hold assemblies and discussions on key behavioral issues, and as individual level interventions, and as a much more effective disciplinary measure. Suspension or expulsion, for example, isn't going to do much for the teen caught cyberbullying, but the process of creating a media message that attempts to change viewers' perspectives on that issue will. Words of wisdom will be to enjoy every part of it because after it's done, it's like you want to go back. So enjoy it and have a life. The biggest part was just seeing the kids and how empowered they felt and how special they felt to just to be a part of this project. I know that one of the kids during the filming said that because of this project, he now knew what he wanted to do with the rest of his life. And I think that a lot of the kids felt that way and just being a part of that was an amazing, amazing experience.